A black hole can attract dust and gas in its neighborhood into a whirling disk of molecules. Those molecules release great bursts of radio energy as they are drawn in. There seem to be black holes made not from single stars, but from whole clusters of stars. They have a mass a hundred million times that of our sun. But these monsters are still infinitely small points, capable of gobbling up other stars. But where does the stuff that falls into a black hole go? Does it just fall out of the universe? Possibly. Or it may pop up somewhere else in space. If you'll excuse an indelicate metaphor, there may be white holes regurgitating matter eaten by black holes in another part of the universe, a wormhole in the fabric of space and time, allowing you to go from one location to another without crossing the space in between. Or it might go to another universe entirely. Astronomy's reigning theoretical genius, Stephen Hawking, proposed that the black holes in our universe might well give birth to other universes. In fact, there might be any number of universes, like bubbles in the bath. 